Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, I'm out here in my shop today, and uh, I got my brother's 2005 Ford Explorer Sport Track. And I've got to do a little work on it today. I'm not really sure uh, what's going on. I just want to bring y'all along with me today. And uh, so what, what what it's doing here, they told me, uh, his wife said that she heard a pop, and uh, she couldn't get the truck back in park. And it'll go in reverse, neutral drive, and the, uh, you see right here, it's got a lot of play. A lot of play in the uh, shifter. So something's going on there, y'all. And uh, I'm fixing to uh, take this panel, blow the uh, steering column loose, and uh, this, uh, see what, what we see in there, y'all. This uh, metal plate right here. Uh, up under that plastic cover I took off and I was gonna say one two three four look like it's gonna be about uh five about five bolts we're gonna take out here and they're, they're gonna be eight millimeter bolts so let me go ahead and take those out and uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna show me give me more room or anything but I'm thinking it is y'all uh, I got up under the dash there looking and I can see the cable up in there, and I can see something like it's kind of moving around there. So that's why I'm trying to get in here, see if I can get a little bit better view of what's going on. But let me go ahead and get this uh, taken off, and I'll be back. That metal bracket right there that your shifter cable hooks to. And uh, you can see the shifter cable right over here. But if yours is uh, doing that, and it's uh, got a lot of play in it, Go, go in here and see if these two bolts are loose and tighten them up before it breaks the uh, steering column, the threads in the steering column itself. So that's what happened here. It had been loose a while and uh, it finally just popped that aluminum housing. So we're this part right here, you see right here this, on this uh, shifter uh, rod right here. I don't know what they call it, the shaft, shifter shaft or something. But this part right here, this is what that bracket for your shifter cable hooks to right here. You can see right there it's broken. And that's what uh, caused it to uh, have all that slack right there. So I'm gonna see about, uh, maybe if I can just get this one part right here to replace. And uh, if I can, I'll show you how I go about doing that. And uh, you got a spring right here. Just make sure you don't lose that spring that's where the bracket goes up against it there um but real quick let me just show you here a few things i did right there uh first of all you're going to have to undo your uh coupler right there for your uh sh steering shaft going to your gearbox and she's gonna have a pinch bolt in it and uh, just take this uh pinch bolt out and you can slide this shaft back um connecting the steering column up in here you can see these studs right here you're gonna have four of these studs right here and you i think it's a 13 uh i think it's a 13 millimeter uh nuts on it just take them uh, four nuts loose and then on the side here you're gonna have this wire connector it's gonna have this uh i think like maybe eight millimeter uh bolt in there you're going to do that you're going to pull that connector straight out then you're going to have on the bottom of your um, column there this is going to be for your uh, cable going up there to reverse neutral your indicator up there this right here just bolts on to the very bottom just going to have a screw in the bottom of this you take that screw out pull this out of your way uh, then you, right there you can see you're going to have several different connectors right here so i hold this light here and count them for you on this left side you got one two three you got three right here and three right there one two and three is a little small black one there one two three and uh on this side you're gonna have a couple of them over here you're gonna have one two and it's a little green one right here. Going one, two, three over here. Uh, for most part, y'all, that's it. And in, on your shifter cable back here, here's another thing you need to know about. I just left this bracket 
bolts right now uh, I un unbolted the uh, bracket itself uh, that's one of them the screw was out of it and I just took the other screw out instead of undoing it from that point right here I just left it hooked up to that and it's kind of tied in there if you can get in there you know and just take your pry bar and pop it off it's probably a little easier doing it once it's out like this right here but the other thing might be a little frustrating you're gonna have a bracket on that steering column that comes out with it for this cable here that uh, hooks into it and right here you can see this little square block here if you look on the bottom right here you'll see a uh, little nipple stuck out right i don't know if our hands getting in show you probably gonna block it y'all anyway you got a little nipple right there and you'll see on a bracket there's a hole in that bracket and you'll take a screwdriver and you're gonna push in on that uh little bracket push it out that little it's a little catch right there what it is you got to push in on it and then this oh, uh, uh this bottom cover right here is gonna have uh three phillips head screws here here and uh here you're gonna take that bottom cover off and this top cover right here come off and uh but uh right here your uh your uh tilt uh lever for your steering wheel that screws right in here just uh you see it's got some little flat notches on it i just took a little small um crescent wrench and to get loose you, you'll have to take that loose before you take that uh bottom cover off right there but anyway here's what the right here is holding the shaft in you're gonna have these t30 bolts right here then you're gonna have this little uh i don't know it's like a little bracket right there also you take this and out this and out and you'll have this third one take that off and i believe this should uh come off at that point and uh i think we're gonna try to get a new shifter for it because the overdrive button's messed up in it and uh all you gotta do is just take this little pin right here take a punch from the other side and just punch this little pin out and uh, you can take that off uh that way but anyway y'all i don't know if i'm getting a used part or a new part if i get a new part i'll tell you and put in the description below what the part number is and uh so i'll be back whenever i get the new part or the used part there to put it back together all right y'all here's the uh, part number for the shift lever it's 905-112 here's the part for the doorman uh steering shift tube 905 102 and here's the uh part the little rubber bushing the installing it's 905 095 all right y'all what you want to do you want to uh, grease up this new rod that comes with this tube i just put some uh just regular uh multi-purpose grease right there all over this inside of the tube and everything on the rod that goes through it then i just drove the uh, pin right here out of this uh, shifter lever right here and i'm just you know knocking it back in and i put a new bushing rubber bushing back in there so can't really show you that right here i'm holding the camera too but uh it's pretty straightforward there so i'm just gonna go ahead and drive that in there i got it uh, put back in and it's pretty much the same way you can take it apart you know you're just gonna take these Two bolts off right here these two clamps right here four bolts then you'll have this little actuator right here with one two three bolts just put that back together and i'll show you how it kind of works there and pull the lever right here get it close to me see you kind of see how you like you select your gear and it'll drop into gear to wherever you want then we go back into park push it down locks back into place and this little spring back here make sure you put that spring back on don't lose that spring that's what keeps your tension on your uh just uh your uh shifter lever right there